as you can see, we're going to talk about my colleague, the BBC presenter, Naga Manchetti, because a complaint against Naga that was partially upheld and caused a furore when that was announced has been reversed by the Director General of the BBC, Tony Hall. Naga had been talking with co-presenter Dan Walker about comments made by Donald Trump. The President had suggested four Democratic politicians should go back to places from which they came. Here's the clip from BBC Breakfast at the centre of the complaint. That was the most telling quote for me last night. I can't remember who said it, but she said, I've been told to go home many times, yes. to go back to where I've come yes. from many times in my life. Every time I've never I've been, been told by the man who's sitting in the Oval Office. Every, every, and every time I have been told, as a woman mm. of colour, to go home, to go back to where I came from, that was embedded in racism. Now, I'm not accusing anyone of anything here, but there is, you know what certain phrases mean. And you still told that? Do you, do you, get, yes. do you hear that quite yes. regularly? Yeah. Not regularly, but, you know, I've been told it. I know that you're, you're sitting here not giving an opinion, but how do you feel then, as somebody who's been told that before, when you hear that from... Furious. Him, when you hear that from him? Absolutely furious. And I can imagine that lots of people in this country will be feeling absolutely furious that a man in that position feels it's OK to skirt the lines with using language like that. Does that then... Do you feel that his use of that... Because that's the point I was trying to make, then legitimises other people to use that. And, and as, yes. as our guest was saying yes. there... It's a, it's an, it feels like a thought-out strategy yeah, to strengthen his position. And it's not enough to do it just to get attention. He's a, he's a... Well, one person made a complaint about that programme and what was said within it, and that complaint was partially upheld by a review panel, a decision which became public last week. That then led to a significant backlash. A large group of actors, black actors and broadcasters, wrote to the BBC to ask it to reconsider its judgement. Many staff also wrote to the BBC's Director General, Tony Hall. And earlier on, Tony Hall emailed all staff here at the BBC. Part of that email read, I don't think Naga's words were sufficient to merit a partial uphold of the complaint around the comments she made. In other words, he was reversing the decision that the BBC had been defending publicly as recently as Friday. All of which has left some asking, what changed between last week and now? Here's the BBC's Lizo Mzimba. Everything has changed. End of last week, the BBC was adamant that what Naga Manchetti had said with her comments about President Trump's motivation behind what was a racist tweet was not something she should have done on BBC Breakfast. And that was the decision of the very high-powered executive complaints unit here and backed up by the editorial policy unit here at the BBC. Now, of course, since the decision was made, there's been a lot of comments both by the public, from social media and from many of uh, Naga Manchetti's broadcasting colleagues, not just at the BBC but across the industry, culminating in an open letter to a newspaper. Lord Hall, the Director General, was asked to look at this decision again. This evening he announced that he'd done exactly that and decided that even though this was a finely balanced judgment, the Executive Complaints Unit got it wrong and that Naga Manchetti hadn't done anything wrong. So it's a complete reversal of the BBC's strongly entrenched position from last week. There'll be many people out there who, of course, have been very vocal about this and will be very pleased at the decision that the BBC has finally made, but will also be asking the question, should the BBC have taken so long to get to the point where they think they should have been when the decision was originally made? And I was interested towards the end of the email which uh, Lord Hall sent to every member of staff here at the BBC. He said he would also be looking at some of the processes and procedures around how the BBC assesses these issues. Yes, he said specifically he's asked the editorial and leadership teams to discuss how we manage live exchanges on air around these kind of topics in the future and saying impartiality is fundamental to BBC journalism. So what he seems to be saying there is that he's not blaming the executive complaints unit for reaching the decision they did under the rules that the BBC has, but it's time to look again and to make sure that the balance is falling in exactly the right place. You know, he's going out of his way not to criticise anybody and going out of his way to praise Naga Manchetti, who in the email he describes as an exceptional journalist and presenter and someone that he's proud works for the BBC. It's been a difficult few days for the BBC, hasn't it? There'll be some who say, look, this is the, the outcome where we knew the BBC would get to. Why has it taken 
close to a week for it to arrive? Absolutely, and that's a question we may never particularly get the answer to. Lord Hall, I think, with this statement, is trying to draw a line and saying, this is my final decision. Hopefully this will make lots of people, including Naga Manchetti, happy. But there will be others looking quite rightly, you say, at the process of how the BBC gets there and just perhaps another instance of a small crisis erupting within the BBC that the BBC hasn't dealt with as cleanly as people sometimes expect.